Beloved child of God, do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. He sees the struggles and challenges you are facing, but he wants you to know that he has a plan and a purpose for your life. Do not give up or lose hope, for God is ordering you to listen to this message today. Like this video in the event that you have a trust in God. You may be feeling lost or uncertain about your future, but the angels are here to remind you that God has a perfect plan for your life. He knows the desires of your heart, and he will guide you on the right path. Do not be afraid to trust in him and his timing, for he knows what is best for you. Type 1111 if you're ready. There may be situations or people in your life that are causing you pain or confusion, but the angels want you to know that God is in control. He is ordering you to let go of any worries or fears and to surrender them to him. He will take care of everything and bring about a resolution that is far greater than you can imagine. Do not be tempted to go astray or give up on your faith. God is ordering you to stay strong and stand firm in your beliefs. He is your rock and your fortress, and he will never leave you nor forsake you. Keep your eyes on him and he will lead you to a place of peace and security. Type yes to affirm. Remember, dear one, that God's plans for you are good and he has a bright future in store for you. Do not let anyone or anything discourage you from pursuing your dreams and following God's will for your life. He is ordering you to trust in him and he will make a way for you. Listen to the angels today and know that God is ordering you to stay on the path he has set before you. He will guide you, protect you, and bless you beyond measure. Trust in his love and his perfect plan for your life. You are loved and cherished by him always. Amen. Type yes if you trust God. Don't forget to remember that the same power that raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. You don't have to do this alone. You don't have to do this in your own strength. You don't have to try to pump yourself up. You don't have to force yourself to keep going. You don't have to strive to get to the next level. You don't have to be more. You don't have to know more. You don't have to work more. You don't have to be stronger. You can simply rest in the love of God knowing that His grace is sufficient for you. You are empowered by the Holy Spirit of the living God to live a supernatural life. Our job is to believe God. He is the one who does the miracles, Stir up that gift of faith you've been given and be amazed and astonished at what God will do in and through you. If you are enduring a nightmare, the time is coming when you will experience the dream's restoration. Discouragement may have overwhelmed you to the point of giving up and quitting on what you once believed God promised you. But he is not through with you yet. Trust him. He will never fail you. Type. I am evolving. To affirm. If you've found yourself thinking that you've been failing yourself, or others, time and time again, you are not alone. In these moments, it's easy to spiral towards disappointment, discontentment, and discouragement, and run empty on joy, peace, and motivation. While some of our plans, jobs, passions, and relationships may have come to an end and run their course, 
I want to remind you that these dead ends are exactly where we may see God's faithfulness show up. Whatever you are facing this week, remember that God's love is always anew for you. God's patience is always plentiful for you. God's grace is always a deep well for you. God's faithfulness is always working on your behalf even in the unlikely places. Type yes to receive it. It's one thing to know we should trust God and an entirely different thing to actually trust Him. You can know God is good but it's hard to hold on to that truth when nothing good seems to be happening for you. You can know God does good but it's hard to hold on to that truth when you are feeling the sting of someone's betrayal, hurt, absence, or withdrawal. You can know God will work all things together for your good and His glory, but it's hard to hold on to that truth when all things are falling apart. I'm just dropping in here to remind you that you can do hard things. You can walk by faith and not by sight. You can hold on to the truth that what is impossible with people man is possible with God. You can trust that he who promised is faithful. He is for you. He is with you. He is light and in him there is no darkness. God has no dark side. I am thinking especially of those of you who have been hurt, betrayed or disappointed by people, or the way life seems to have turned out for you right now. You had trusted God, stepped out in faith, dared to love, dared to risk and things didn't turn out the way you expected. You're feeling discouraged, disillusioned and on the verge of giving up. I'm not minimizing, dismissing or denying the reality of your pain or loss, but I'm dropping in to say, don't give the enemy any more than he actually stole from you. You can't go back and do things differently, but you can trust that your God who is good and does good can and will redeem the broken pieces. God is a miracle working God. All of the promises of God are in Christ Jesus, yes and amen. You are not finished. This is not over. Make what Jesus did for you bigger than what they did to you. In Christ, there is always hope for the future. He loves you so much. Receive it in my name. The only way to stay on course is to choose to stay on course. You will have to make this choice every hour of every day or you will drift. There are a million things that will come your way to try and derail you, distract you, disillusion you, disappoint you or demean you. You will have to determine to not let them sabotage your destiny. You will have to fight the good fight of faith to fulfill your purpose. You will have to walk by faith and not by sight to get to where God is taking you. You will have to hold on to the promises of God when you're being bombarded by the lies of the enemy. You will have to trust God when you can't trace Him. You will have to believe God when you want to succumb to the facts of your circumstances. This journey is not for the faint of heart. You will have to be strong and very courageous. But fear not for your God is with you. Like this video to see the miracles. This prayer blesses you to receive divine gifts. This one minute prayer from biblical time manifests wealth and abundance into your life. If you're a spiritual person and empath looking to better the world than yourself, then this will be the most important message you read all day. Because once you hear this divine prayer, you will finally break the curse of poverty. 
and restore your connection with the universe, allowing you to ask, manifest and receive an abundance of blessings. Tap the link in my bio and listen to the one minute prayer now. Over the last 20 years, I've learned I won't go against what I'm feeling on the inside. I trust my sensor. That's where God speaks to you. No matter how good the opportunity looks, no matter how impressive, if you don't have peace about it, don't move forward. Or just the opposite, it may seem impossible, the odds are against us. All the circumstances say it's not going to happen. But if you have that peace, that knowing, take that step of faith. When you develop this skill of listening to the whisper, following that still small voice, obeying the promptings, God will not only take you further, but he'll protect you from things that would have caused you heartache and pain. Type yes if you're ready. I feel prompted to encourage those of you who are feeling overlooked, dismissed, forgotten or taken for granted. I know it's hard to keep holding on and believing God when you feel no one sees you, knows you, or even cares about you. It's hard to keep pressing on when you encounter relentless opposition, obstacles or rejection. It's hard to walk by faith when you hear the whisper or shout of the enemy to quit, step back or tap out. It's hard to keep hoping when you've been hurt, betrayed, let down or disappointed. It's hard to believe you can get back up if you've stumbled, fallen, made a mistake or failed. Nevertheless, I want you to know, you can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens you. The same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. It's not over. You're not finished. God's not forsaking you. Dropping in to remind someone that God actually delights in you. He doesn't merely tolerate you. He flat out loves you. When we've been hurt, betrayed, abandoned or rejected, it's often hard to believe that God loves us. We think God will do what people have done, but God is not us. Jesus is faithful. He has no dark side. He will never leave nor forsake us. If we've failed, made a mistake, or messed up in some way, it's not the end. God has not abandoned you. His purpose still prevails. He is for you. He is with you. Don't confuse what you think of you with what God thinks of you. Don't confuse what others say about you with what God has said about you. You are loved. You are chosen. You are wanted. You are seen. You are known. Type. I am ready to shine to affirm. You will have to fight to hold on to your confidence in Christ. It will be assaulted most fiercely on the eve of your breakthrough. You'll be blindsided by something that will knock the wind out of you. You'll be bombarded by fear, doubt and negativity like you've never known. You'll start second guessing yourself, questioning your motives, or doubting that you ever heard from God in the first place. You'll want to run back to where you were, what you knew, or stay where you are. You'll think that if it was God leading you, it'd be easier, less stressful, or less costly. The enemy is relentless. He will use anyone or anything to rob you of your peace, joy, and courage. You'll have to fix your eyes on Jesus with laser focus. 
You'll have to hold on to his promises like your life depends on it. Then, you'll have to step out in faith in order to find out that it was God leading you all along. When you make a decision to focus forward and move on expect to meet resistance. The enemy does not want you to step into the promises of God for your life, or to fulfill your purpose, so he will do whatever it takes to discourage, distract, delay, disappoint or destruct you. You will have to fight to control your thoughts, guard your heart, and strengthen your soul. It's often easier to give up than to keep believing, hoping and expecting for your breakthrough to happen. This is called a fight of faith because that's exactly what it is. The enemy plays dirty. That's why you feel like throwing in the towel. It's hard. It's messy. It's exhausting. It's discouraging. But I'm here to remind you that greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. The enemy is a defeated foe. Fix your eyes on Jesus who is the author and the finisher of your faith. Type 777 to affirm and share this video with five people who trust God. What you're about to discover today is life-changing. One minute you're struggling to pay bills, swamped with money worries, and the next minute, you're attracting money like steel to a magnet. What makes this life-changing difference in people's lives? It's called the genetic wealth code once you activate it. Your life will never be the same again. You can activate your genetic wealth code here today. It's best to activate this code now, while this page is still live. Tap the link in my comments to activate your genetic wealth code. Sometimes we have to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. When we've done all we know to do, tried every option, knocked on every door, prayed every prayer, enlisted advice and support, we might just need to stop and let God work it out for us. Overthinking it is not bringing your breakthrough. Endlessly talking about it is no longer making a difference. Worrying about it is not resolving it, perhaps putting it in the hands of God and leaving it there is exactly what you need to do right now. You can trust that God is good and does good. You can trust that He is for you and not against you. You can believe that He sees, He knows and He cares. God can make a way where there is no way. He can change hearts, heal bodies, calm tormented minds, bring peace and chaos, turn sorrow into joy, open doors, and turn things around in an instant. Rest in His love and goodness. Give it to God and go to sleep. The only way to stay on course is to choose to stay on course. You will have to make this choice every hour of every day or you will drift. There are a million things that will come your way to try and derail you, distract you, disillusion you, disappoint you or demean you. You will have to determine to not let them sabotage your destiny. You will have to fight the good fight of faith to fulfill your purpose. You will have to walk by faith and not by sight to get to where God is taking you. You will have to hold on to the promises of God when you're being bombarded by the lies of the enemy. You will have to trust God when you can't trace him. You will have to believe God when you want to succumb to the facts of your circumstances. This journey is not for the faint of heart. You will have to be strong and very courageous, but fear not for your God is with you. Type, 
I believe in myself to affirm. We want to have faith, but we rarely want to be in positions where our faith is tested. We want to trust God, but we resist being in situations where trusting God is the only option. We want a fruitful relationship with God without suffering. But perhaps it is when we suffer, when we struggle, when we don't know what's next, that we not only grow closer to God, but we find Him. We might enjoy God on the mountaintops, but oh, do we only really meet God in the valley? It is when we endure the suffering with God, that we grow all the more closer to God. So don't give up. This test isn't forever. The pain will end. And on the other side of this season, your faith will be all the more stronger because of it. Walking by faith sounds awesome until you actually start walking by faith and not by sight. The challenge is that while you are believing for supernatural breakthroughs, you are seeing natural obstacles, hurdles, and challenges. While you are believing for God to open doors no man can shut, you are seeing all the doors that have been slammed shut in your face. While you are believing for the promotion that comes from God, you are seeing others promoted around you while you seem to be going backwards. While you are faithfully sowing and believing for increase, you are seeing only decrease. While you know God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly above all you can imagine, you are seeing less than you hoped for. The fight is for your eyes. Faith is predicated on trust, not understanding. Fix your eyes on Jesus. Stay in faith. Stop looking around and start looking up. It takes both faith and patience to inherit the promise. He who promised is faithful. Type. I love you, Lord. To affirm. If you want to attract huge money effortlessly, starting today, check link in comments below to know the shocking wealth secrets revealed by rogue NASA scientists. Subscribe our channel if you believe in God. To do what you are called to do, you will have to stop obsessing about what anyone else is called to do. You can't obey the will of God for your life while constantly thinking about someone else's life. You can't allow the Holy Spirit to deal with your own heart while you're busy judging everyone else's heart. You can't keep hearing God's voice while constantly listening to everyone else's opinion. You can't keep pursuing God's will when you regularly stop to indulge your own will. It is often our need for the approval, validation, or acceptance from others that causes us to miss the purpose of God for our own lives. Don't devalue what God has called you to do because it isn't what He's called someone else to do. Don't throw it all away because it doesn't seem to be happening fast enough. The God who calls us is worthy of our all. Dropping in to encourage someone to take that step of faith you know you need to take. You've been waiting for everything to line up but keep hitting one obstacle after the other. You've become paralyzed by fear because there are so many unknowns and so much uncertainty ahead. In order to do what God has called you to do, you're going to have to decide to make what you do know about God bigger than what you don't know about the future. Over time, I've discovered faith is predicated on trust, not understanding. You may not always like or be able to comprehend God's ways or timing, but you can always trust Him to be faithful.
It's much harder to step out of the will of God than you think. If you're slightly off course, he is powerful enough to get you back on track. Don't freak out. Sometimes you simply have to step out in order to find out if it's God or not. Go for it. Type. I'm optimistic. If you're ready. 96% of people have no clue this method exists. For manifesting money, there is a powerful manifestation technique. It changes your beliefs on reality in the deepest level of the subconscious mind. It literally changed my life, give it an honest try. Click the link in our bio to see if this works for you too. It's important to remember that life is but a vapor. We only get one shot this side of eternity. Don't waste this year looking for the approval of those who are not even connected to your purpose or future. Don't waste time focusing on things that simply will not matter this time next year, let alone in eternity. Don't step back. Hold back or turn back because those you love or have been running with for a long time have chosen to quit, settle or change direction. Don't expect anyone else to really understand your call. It was given to you, not them. You'll only stay faithful to the end if you fix your eyes on Jesus and remember that we give a final account to him alone. He who called you will keep you. He who promised is faithful. God is saying to you today, I declare jobs will be offered, bodies will be healed, checks and acceptance letters will be sent, relationships will be restored, and you will pass all your final exams. I speak success and blessings over your life right now. Trust me. Being true to yourself is all about listening to the Lord and following His guidance. It's so easy to get caught up in what society deems as normal or acceptable. But true happiness and fulfillment come from living a life in line with God's plan for you. It's so important to remember that the Lord's plan for your life is greater than anything you could ever imagine for yourself. Trust in Him, and know that He will lead you down the path that is meant for you. When faced with difficult decisions or uncertainty, turn to Him in prayer and ask for His guidance. He will provide the answers you need and give you the courage to follow through with them. If God wants you to have it, the blessing will forever have your name on it. That's why it's not important to overthink or question the way things unfold in your life. There is a certain timing and purpose attached to each every circumstance that you face in life. When you start to build that faith, you gain a confidence towards your life's natural course and direction. You feel humble knowing you truly realize that you're always in the process of becoming and that God is always in your corner no matter the weather.